It's time to talk about the third quarter financial results with Volition RX. Joining me is Cameron Reynolds, the CEO. Let's start with those all important financials. What's been the, uh, the news on that uh, front? Yes, good morning, Nick. It's been a wonderful uh, quarter for the finances, as it has been the last few quarters. Uh, we ended up with just under $20 million in the bank, which compares very favourably to the end of last year, where we had about 13 and a half. And that was due to a large amount of warrants being exercised from current shareholders and insiders, about $16.5 million exercised. And also during the last quarter, we got yet more non-dilutive funding from the Sofinex Group in Belgium. And I think even more importantly than getting the money in, we've been extremely careful in our spending. We actually spent slightly less than budgeted this last quarter and less than we did last a year in the same quarter. Assays are extremely important in your business, in your techniques, in what you do. Um, you've got some news on that as well. Yes, Nick, it's been a massive undertaking. So for the last two, two and a half years now, we went back to basics, if you will, and uh, made sure every single thing on our tests were fully optimised. So you might remember that started with the antibodies, then went on to recombinant nucleosomes as control, a massive breakthrough, and uh, they're now routine in our assays. And then we also changed uh, the matrix from uh, serum to plasma, and uh, that gets a better accuracy in this better noise to signal ratio, so yet another improvement. And uh, so with that, we have the assays now being CE marked on that, on that platform on the plates, which uh, is useful mainly for the couple of assays that have gone through that process in the triage market in lung and colorectal, which I can get to in a bit later. And the final step has been to make them from plates to magnetic beads. Why magnetic beads? Uh, two main reasons. One, that's the, the major platform for, it's also ELISA, very simple, very cheap, very easy, but it's the major, major form of ELISA the big companies use, Roche, Abbott, Siemens. And, and the second main reason for being on beads is we've got a tenfold, it's a massive increase, in the analytical accuracy of our assays. We can measure much, 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 much more accurately. And the first of those assays are coming uh, off at the end of this year, and we'll have a range of them in the first half of next year. So you've got those assays in place, you're improving the performance, but you've also appointed somebody to manage that process as well. Yes, now we're moving from just on plates. We're going to keep plates for a range of different things, including the triage tests, including research use kits and other things. But adapting them to the machines on the magnetic beads, uh, we've taken on uh, the best person we could find. It's been a very big improvement for us to help us put a large amount. We really want a conveyor belt of assays ready on the machines uh, with magnetic beads. So that's been tremendously helpful. That process is going extremely well. And just to reiterate, a tenfold increase in the analytical accuracy of our assays, which is truly remarkable. What about the activity that you call new Q capture? What's the, the news on that front? Yes, we actually just had a science advisory board meeting last week in Belgium. Um, our scientific team are extremely excited by the prospects for new Q capture. Um, it helps us in many, many ways, um, uh, potentially in three very, very important ways. Firstly, in new biomarker discoveries through mass spectrometry. Secondly, um, if you remember, it, it can uh, preferentially take out long and short nucleosomes. And through all of these processes, that can help us in our own assays by sweeping aside uh, potential noise and background. You have a better uh, signal when there's less background, by, by definition. And thirdly, and I think perhaps most excitingly, we can help other DNA companies, and there's billions and billions spent in a range of uh, products, particularly in late stage detection and therapy monitoring, where their problem was finding the needle in the haystack. Um, we expect Capture to be able to pull out the needles or sweep away the haystacks. So now, uh, by JP Morgan Healthcare Week in, in January, we expect to have the next data point and a steady stream of data points throughout the year where we show different concentrations, where we hope to really show uh, uh, quantitatively how we can help in cancer detection and perhaps even start licensing the, those products in a range of different areas. You mentioned JP Morgan Health Week. It's coming around again and you'll be present in the US during that event. Yes, uh, usually we have 50 to 60 meetings in those four key days. Uh, all of our collaborators, bankers, analysts, so expecting another big conference. And we have at least six key team members there for all of those meetings because it's, it's very important. And we expect to have some news around that as well. Trials are a very important part of the work you do. So bring us up to date on where you are with trials worldwide. And I gather there's some interest out in the Far East. 
Yeah, so while we've been doing the platform development, in parallel we've been uh, collecting and running and setting up relationships so we can get trials done quite quickly now that we're th getting through that process. So I'm in uh, Asia at the end of this month, I'm visiting our partners in Taiwan and in China. Um, the Taiwan side has gone extremely well. They're collecting the lung and the colorectal trials for us there. Um, and we've now started two trials with Fosun in China in lung and because the data was very, very good in colorectal as well. And that's the big trials, but also the smaller discovery and medium sized trials. We expect more data on the, one of those later this year, uh, next month, and a steady stream of those throughout quarter one and quarter two with our new base of assays and with the CE marked platform assays in the triage market. So you mentioned the JP Morgan event in the US. You've just come back from the US with the latest milestone in the development of uh, volition veterinary diagnostic developments. We um, just got back two weeks ago, I guess, from uh, Texas. We uh, scoured the globe looking for someone really good in the veterinary space. We're experts on the epigenetic side and the nucleosomes. And it, as we talked about before, it turns out the dogs and just about most living things have nucleosomes the same as us. So we don't know the, much about veterinary space at all. So we sought out the best partners we could find. Texas A&M are absolutely wonderful partners, are extremely knowledgeable in the area of animals and veterinary, very well funded and very professional. So we formed a company with them um, where we had 87.5% and they had 12.5% for the work they're doing to bring in the veterinary side. And that company is now formed. It has some intellectual property in it on, from the vet space. Very, very exciting, uh, fantastic partnership. And we should have a lot more information throughout next year. And we're hoping to launch the first product next year as well. Interesting. And you can see more details uh, on your website and through social media on a video dealing with that. So finally, let's look ahead. Let's draw all that into the milestones for the future. What's going to be happening over the next quarter and possibly beyond? So, Nick, we have really good momentum in every one of our core areas. Now, the assays have been developed and are now on magnetic beads. We expect to have a lot of data from the trials uh, in lung, in colorectal, in a range of cancers. Now, also on the VET side and also data from UQ Capshell. And given all the work we've done and given the data we've seen, we're very confident we'll get some good results starting this year and all the way through next year. Okay, well, we'll be looking at that and testing that in your full term results. But for the time being, Cameron Reynolds, CEO of Volition RX, thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you.